Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. We're going to be starting out today with a destruction map, so... Uh, we're going to be doing Area 3, Wave 4. Um, let's make sure that that's true. Um, as long as we don't need Sekigahara. <laughs> Hijiyama needs to be on the strike team. You got it. Okay. I'm ready. I'll participate. Okay, got it. Understood. Okay, that's four. We need two more. So let's see. We got a G1, a G2, a G3, and a G4. So we've got one of everything. And what are we looking at? Horde of Modified Terra Carriers. Ooh, okay. So... You've got an EMP stunner, that's going to be useful. So you've got an EMP and Hijiyama's got an EMP. And then uh, we need... We need some... Like anti-air sort of throw up things. So you've got anti-air defensive flares. Okay. I'm ready. Leave it to me. Okay. Let's go. I'll handle this. Let's roll. Twenties are lowest, which is you. I'll fight. Wow, one hundred sixty six thousand. Cool. Bunch of G4s going in. I wonder if that's a good idea or not. So Shield Matrix can hit a bunch of people, and I think Shield Repair is you target one person. Thank you. 
Let's go. Goddamn right, Okino. Okino? Where's this coming from? I keep calculating and recalculating, and I always get the same result. I wish it was different, but you deserve to know. Tell him. I measured the rate of incoming kaiju, and we can't win. There's zero chance of surviving until tomorrow. A physical impossibility. Oh, I thought Okino was gonna, like, confess. <laughs> Don't be like that, Tsukasa. If you don't want to tell the others, then I understand. You understand nothing? Is that who you think I am? That I'll just give up simply because I'm told to? I'm not just fighting for my own survival. You know it's more than that. Hijiyama kun. Okay, so let's see. Let's get you moving right away. Go ahead and use yours. You're just small fry. Yes. I can help. I need to think things through. Too slow. Good. Signal offline. No, we will not lose. Can't tell if that's getting the the carriers or not. Practice rounds 
Christ. Oh, they're not messing around. <laughs> what can I do? What should I do? guys are up again? Did I not just EMP them, or is that more that came in? What next? Shit. I'll make it. So, what's my next move? EMPs aren't taking down these guys for some reason.
one next. With an enemy threat range. Unbelievable. I'm acting like an amateur. You're just small fry. How's that? Bow down. Are we winning? You cannot get out in time. Does that shield yourself too? I think it did. I thought that was the other one. I keep doing that. It was enough. I wasn't sure if it would be. Yeah, 
and down. Down wasn't too bad, honestly. Termination of enemy signals confirmed. I don't know if we'll S rank it, but I wouldn't be surprised if we got an A rank. Yaki Soba Pawn Angel. Can't relax yet. The next battlefield awaits. Okay, we got the S rank. That's what I like to see. Next one's gonna be a boss fight. Okay. But we're gonna be going to Remembrance today. So, Iori Fuyusaka, we're gonna finish out her story. Iori Fuyusaka was harassed by some delinquents until he defused the situation. Before he took off completely, she made up her mind and admitted her feelings for him. So this will tie directly into Sekigahara. <laughs> who we finished last time. No! Uh, yeah, good idea. <laughs> no! <laughs> More food! Yeah. You can choose, Miliko. Is something wrong with Sami chan? Yeah, we're First in this section again. For that record. <laughs> now, this. I feel like you've been extra nice to me lately. Oh, come on. Don't overthink it. Mm, it's because. I uh, just figured, you know, you know all the best places to go. It's because she forgot all that stuff. <sighs> Are you sure? Are you sure it's okay for me to decide? Of course. In that case... That's right. You cool with that, Iori? Yes. Is that okay? Miwa-chan's choice. Sure. What do you feel like today, Mila As long as it doesn't make me go through weird You're loops. You're about to find out. Then I am A-OK -okay with Miwako's choice. Hell yes. <laughs> now what do we get? Ooh, shish kebab? That looks good. Was that an izakaya? I thought those places didn't open till late. They don't, but you can still order yakitori for takeout. I've been wanting to try it forever! It's so good! Whoa, you're right! Master of the Mill? Ate all possible food on the way back. Okay, cool. It's hot off the grill and charred just right. What is this, a festival? Feels weird to walk around with this. You're right. People are giving us looks. They say high school girls can get away with anything. Isn't it, like, inappropriate to, like, eat food while you're walking down the road in Japan? Isn't that, like, frowned upon? But this is embarrassing. Just try a bite, Usami-chan. <sighs> oh. Mmm. Whoa, that is good! Mmm. 
I love the sauce. Oh, this is gonna make me hungry again. Son of a bitch. Stop doing this to me, game. Well then, now that that's taken care of, do you have something to tell us, Iori-chan? I found a boyfriend. Don't think we can't tell. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Come on, spill the beans. I thought we were friends, Yuri-chan. <laughs> are you not going to tell us what happened with your crush? Look at that pouty we face. Have a right to know. Did you at least get his name? Don't tell me. You just ran up to him and confessed. Kinda. Uh... Did you at least get his... His name is... A Sekigahara. Sekigahara? Of all people. <laughs> you know him, Usami-chan? Yeah, I guess they've had a run-in, huh? Well, uh... Let's just say you should stay away from that guy. Why? He's not a normal high school kid. He's involved in some shady business. And then she gets kidnapped. <laughs> shady business confirmed. I... I know our ways of life are worlds apart. I wonder if this will end with her getting kidnapped by, uh... By this... Android Ida. Uh, it may be dangerous. It may be stupid. But I can't stop how I feel. Yuri. And speak of the devil. Fuyusaka. Uh huh? Sekigahara-kun. Come with me. If you want to what? live. But... You. What do you want with Yuri? Tell me Kisaragi. There's no time to explain. Just come. Please, Fuyusaka. Iori-chan, follow your heart. <laughs> if you need to go, then go. Oh, like Miwako. Uh, right. She's funny. I like Miwako. She's a sweetheart. <laughs> Do you still have those dreams? Huh? The premonitions you told me about. Yes. They're not actually premonitions. They're the memories of Chihiro Morimura. Our teacher? You received them in a memory transplant. <sighs> no way. Future technology does have that capability. You mean Miss Morimura is from the future? Correct. Just as you saw in your dreams. If that's true, are Amiguchi-kun and Karabe-kun the same? Karabe? You're acquainted with Tamao-san? Is she saying... Is she asking if those two are actually the same person, or...? Tamao? What? No, I meant Juro Karabe from my class. Juro. So that's it. It's connecting that with Izumi. Why did I have a memory transplant? If I had to guess, no. It's better you hear it from her directly. From Miss Morimura? We'll be seeing her soon. She's at the park? Is it going to be the kid version? Looks like we got here first. Let's wait here. Hmm. What is it? Um... Hey, Sekigahara-kun. Would you mind if I called you... Akun? If that's what you want. Still got his pills, so it'll probably be right, uh, teacher Morimura. Are you okay? This is before she dies. You know, I grew up just like you. 
Right here in Ashitaba City. Well, 80 years into the future, that is. You saw it, right? The wreckage. It'll happen here any day now. Just as you saw in your dreams, this town will come under attack by the Daimos. If those dreams were Miss Morimura's memories, that's why you both came here, right? To fight the Kaiju. Not Morimura. Not anymore. At this point, it's up to us. Us? The compatible ones. Those capable of altering this world. You're one of them. But... This world is beyond saving. Huh? Would you like to come with me? We can go back 16 years and try again. <sighs> the city may go down, but it won't take us with it. 16 more years should be enough time to prepare. We'll win next time. If only it worked that way. If only it worked that way. Miwa Chan's my good friend. She's gentle, kind, loves talking about romance, even. What about Miwa Chan? She's still here. And so are my parents. What would happen to them? They'll be attacked by the Daimos, and that'll be it. But your parents aren't real. <sighs> Chihiro Morimura came here from Sector 1. You're no different. <laughs> oh, come on. <sighs> They're my family. If you decide to stay here, you'll perish along with them. <sighs> I don't have a choice, do I? In that case, I'll do it. Just like in my dreams. I'll fight and protect everyone. And how do you plan on doing that? Um. Juro has no memory of what happened. But I expect you'll have his help. You mean Kurabe-kun? What about you? Won't you be fighting too? Ryoko-san and I... We don't have much time left. I can't afford to stay around. Oh. That's the kind of guy I am. I don't deserve your love. Do you get it now? <sighs> Eikun. Um... Well... You know what? I'll go check if Miss Morimura is here yet. So we meet up with Morimura. He eventually ends up in the thing. She gets shot by little Morimura. He loses his memory. All of his story happens, and at the end, she's kidnapped by... Ida Android. Fuyusaka-san. She looks just like in my dreams. Explain. Why did you bring her here? To expose your secrets. She has a right to know. Miss Morimura. Hmm. Go on. Tell her. <sighs> Miss... Is it true? Are my dreams really your memories? <laughs> Why would you do such a thing? If you're not gonna talk, I'll do it. You wanted to write your memories and personality onto Fuyusaka, right? So you could someday take over. What? She was trying to assume your identity. Fine, I'll explain. That was my intention. But things have changed. Was? Oh. Operation Aegis is all we have left. So then... What's going to happen to me? Well, I hadn't gotten to the final step. You'll continue on as Iori Fuyusaka. You do carry my memories within you. 
But even that process was left incomplete. Juro made sure of it. Thanks to him, my memories are nothing but dreams to you. You mean... the Kurabe-kun I saw in my dreams? 426. Did you perform a memory transplant on him, too? No. I have nothing to do with his current state. If it were up to me, I would have changed him back into the old Izumi-kun. Oh... Your memories just hit me. I understand how you feel. Is that why you transplanted the memories of Tamao Kurabe? It can't be. Tell me your real objective. She's not lying about her feelings. I can tell. Yes, I transplanted memories into Tamao Kurabe and Shu Amiguchi. I had to deliver on a promise I made. But there has to be a reason they were compatible. That's what I need to know. That's why I called you here. <sighs> Tell me. The truth is, I am no longer human. <sighs> You're an android. When the reset occurred, the world that I was in was taken over. At that time, the real me died. Then what are you now? An illusion produced by universal control. That's all that's left of me. Hmm, maybe not an android then. You're an illusion? I, I don't understand. How did that happen? Isn't Sector Zero supposed to prevent that? Going there allows you to escape to the next world. The concept of living through a reset is something of a misunderstanding. In short, it's not possible. Sector Zero is unique. Going there is not akin to a typical sector shift. Instead, it scanned me in as data. And with that data, Universal Control did its work. And created you. It created a perfect replica of me in the next world. So that's what a loop really is. There are 15 humans capable of carrying out the plan. What plan? The plan made in the year 2188 to continue the species. But I'm no longer a part. I'm nothing but a doll held captive in the five sectors. I'm incapable of fulfilling my mission. Because it was passed on to you. So you turned to the version of you who was born into this world. Iori Fuyusaka. In time, she and you would be one and the same. That's how you plan to reclaim your humanity. Seki Gaharakun, I gather you intended to make use of Sector Zero as well. You would be correct. And you planned to put a stop to Operation Aegis, didn't you? Yes. By killing you. Huh? Are you going to shoot me right here and now? You can't do that! <laughs> if Operation Aegis were put into motion, this world would be cut off from universal control. What would become of you then? Data stored in Sector Zero can function independently of UC. In other words, you'll continue to live, human or not. So that's the way it is. Ryoko-san and I, we never had a way out in the first place. So many versions of Chihiro running around. Akun, hey I'll protect you. Let's do this together. <sighs> if only I had the courage to take your hand. That would have been for the best. <sighs> I repeat, we interrupt this program to bring you an important emergency broadcast. A large, unidentified object has crash-landed in the city. It is headed north toward Kasumi Channel, destroying everything in its path. A state of emergency has been declared in Ashitaba City. 
The neighboring three wards are advised to evacuate and This is like the first scene we saw, wasn't it? Of her activating the sentinel? Yeah. It really came. The day of the attack. Only one thing left to do. Akun Sentinel. Number 15. Wait. Akun, wait! First you show up at school all of a sudden. And then you pull me away to a place like this? Stay still. Huh? What? Um... Uh, um... I'm not ready for this. <laughs> Very forward of him. Found it. <laughs> Odd place to be shot. Whoa. What is that? An activation switch. It's used to call your sentinel. Don't move. That should do it. If what 426 said is true... So, getting shot is our way around the... DD-426, then? I guess it would make sense that once he changed his mind, that he would... reverse it, right? So... That's all I need to do. Hmm. I registered my sentinel. Sentinel number 15. It's a robot used to fight the Daimos. It was mine, but it's in better hands with you. It's kind of sweet. I really was worthless in the end. Don't say that. Fuyusaka, I... Huh? Never mind. It's nothing. Just forget what Morimura said, all right? Believe in yourself. That's a line. Welcome to anime. To the final battle. Fuyusaka's story is cleared. And with that, we're going to end this episode. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, everybody.